Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things and today we have a catch up kind of video. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Sorry I've been missing in action a little bit. I've been recovering from COVID and if you watch this video up here, you will see what happened. I am technically in my first taper week of three weeks of taper before the Atlantic City Marathon on October 23rd. We keep pushing and I'm gonna bring you an update as to where I stand with my training and what happened since last week's update. So let's do this. I'm filming this Wednesday, October 5th and I am somewhat back to normal. I feel still a little bit tired. Exhaustion after COVID is real, you guys. People talk about this often and it's unbelievable. I've been sleeping a minimum of eight and a half hours every single day since I got COVID. So yes, the exhaustion is very, very real. Now I did run last Friday. I went outside and I ran. It was a very hard run for me, but I did film myself while I was doing it. So I'm going to put that vlog right now. Well, guys, I'm out here running. I'm struggling big time. Yesterday was not a good day and today is not a good day either. I'm so tired. It's like unbelievable exhaustion all day long. This morning I woke up and I intended to do maybe three and a half, four miles. And I just didn't have it in me. I was so tired. I could barely get out of bed. That's how tired I was. So finally pulled myself up and just did some light strength training just to see if I don't know, I just feel so weak. And then I just didn't run. And now it's lunchtime, it's 10, it's 12.20 right now. And I'm just going out because for the Swift challenge, I don't know if I've mentioned this in any of my videos, but this week we have to run a mile individually, each of us. And then the average, the time so I'm just gonna go out and run a mile and hopefully I help, help my team I'll tell them if I'm running it too slow you don't want to average mine use my data because I think it only needs to be eight of us so they only need eight, eight data points but I know we have a couple team members that are sick too so I don't want to not earn points the last week of the challenge this is a very long story, but this is kind of a warm up and then I'm going to run a mile as fast as I can and go back home, take a shower and basically work laying down on my bed because I can't even stay on the chair. I was trying this morning so hard to like, it's just like the fog, the mental fog. Unbelievable, guys. So, like, incapacitating. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I did one in 11 minutes flat. I'm gonna take a slightly different route and I'm gonna take advantage of, there's a little uphill and then advantage of the downhill. Hopefully beat those 11 <coughs> and give my team a better opportunity to grab points because I think it's only the top teams with the smallest average and with the fastest. <coughs> average that get the top points. I don't even know how it works guys. I've been like, oh, if anyone from my Swift team is watching this, I'm really sorry. Okay, let's do this one. Let's see. 
but we can make this happen. Okay, I did 8.55. It's gonna be it, guys. I'm not doing it again. I'm just gonna loop around here on flat land to cool down. <coughs> That's it. I'm done. Man, I feel like fire here. As I was breathing. Not good. Oh. Okay. Over. And then after that run on Friday that I did outside is when we got um, a lot of rain. It started raining actually Friday night and it hasn't stopped yet and today is Wednesday. So I've been putting all my runs on the treadmill. I did 10 miles on Saturday and 18 miles on Sunday on the treadmill. My 10 miler was really good. I will put the screenshot from Strava right here. My 18 miler was slower and I struggled through it. My plan was to put 20 miles, which is what my Hal Higdon plan called for. However, I was not able to take another step. I was really, really exhausted. And actually on Sunday, I took a nap of two and a half hours. So that tells you everything you need to know. Then Monday, I was to start my taper. I was supposed to put a two and a half mile tempo run, really short and sweet, like only 10 minutes of tempo pace. However, I skipped that and I did yesterday my hill training, Tuesday that Hal Higdon had prescribed, and I did that on the treadmill. So I just took the incline to 3% on the treadmill and I just did it as it was scheduled on the plan. Now, today is a rest day, but since I didn't run Monday, I'm gonna go out and run probably three miles. It was still raining this morning, so I'm gonna try and do this at lunchtime so I can run outside. And this is a vanity check, you guys. It's because when I put my runs on the treadmill, it doesn't really add up to my VO2 max. So I really wanna see where I stand right now in terms of my Garmin watch. Yeah, and I am going to bring you that vlog right now. Well, finally, we are out. It's past lunchtime because I was working on a document for work and it took me, I sent it back for revision and I needed to change certain things. Anyway, not that it concerns running, it doesn't have anything to do with running, but that's the reason why I couldn't get out before. So we're just gonna run, guys. We're just gonna, I don't know, three miles, three and a half miles. Yeah, let's just have fun with it because it's not raining and I'm so happy that it's not raining. <laughs> That, that I still have like burning sensation when I breathe when I'm running okay so 3.5 miles in 34 minutes 44 seconds average 9.55 first mile 10.14 second 9.36 third 9.47 I was starting to go down then and then the last one the last 0.5 in 10 minute 11 seconds per mile yeah my heart rate was went pretty high especially when i was going pushing the pace which 
according to this, I made it even to like 850 when I was pushing the pace. My heart rate went up to 174, but my performance condition was good. So that's good news. Okay, mostly in threshold. Okay, guys, we're gonna take it home. Okay, so now we are three weeks away, less than three weeks away from the Atlantic City Marathon and then Philadelphia Marathon that I'm running with my brother and he already has the plane tickets, so it's happening, you guys. Philadelphia Marathon is November 20th. For Philadelphia Marathon, I'm gonna take the lead of my brother, whatever pace he wants to maintain, I'll just follow him. Tomorrow I'm running with Ginger, I'm gonna bring you another video for that and my intent is to upload more videos more often for the remainder of the day still Atlantic City Marathon. I've been extremely, extremely busy with work. See, when I was convalescing with COVID, I could not do my normal output. So there were a lot of things that were hanging there and I needed to catch up on work. It's what pays the bills. So I hope you will forgive me for that, guys, because always my intent during the month of October is to put more videos out. I've always done that every single year. I try to put videos every day. Not always it happens, but that is always my intention during the month of October. With that being said, I hope you are excited with your upcoming races. I know a lot of you are running races this fall, so I hope your training is going well. Come below on which races you're training for and how the training is going, and I will see you tomorrow. Run fearless, you guys.